So I believe in common sense, and I am a Second Amendment supporter. Um, that contribution that I got just about a decade ago, we actually gave to a charity, so it was nothing that I kept, and I haven't had any contribution since then. Uh, I think it's good to be independent. Um, as far as what we should do, I think that universal background checks are extremely important. I think whether you're a gun owner or not a gun owner, you should believe in them, because we must know who owns guns and be sure that the people who own them are people that are going to use them safely. Uh, I have voted against bump stocks and I have voted for you know legislation when somebody is a danger to themselves or they're a danger to others um, that they should you know when they got a significant danger they should certainly not have guns so I think it's common sense but I think um, good law-abiding decent gun owners shouldn't be hurt in the process Well, we've, we've really got to work hard to make sure that we do have alternative sources of energy, and that's going to be a, a major plus for the future. And, you know, there are, there's wind and there's solar and there's wave action. There's, there's many, and there's going to be so many more we're going to learn about. So not only should we be implementing them, but we should also be exploring them and investigating them and doing the research on what is the most cost effective and at the same time, what has the least environmental damage. Uh, there's no question that there's been change in our climate. And even if you speak, as, as I had mentioned before, to fishermen who are out there in the ocean, they will tell you the types of fish that are moving in, the temperature of the water, everything is changing. At the same time, we must protect our people. So we have to build higher and more carefully. We have to be more careful where we do build. And we certainly must be careful about our flood insurance program to make sure that our people can get flood insurance at a reasonable cost because they do need that protection and that's something that I'm going to fight for. So I think um, part of what we've seen, the idea of really trying to incentivize new technology companies coming in and, and new ideas really being formulated, and whether that's in the pharmaceutical industry or the high-tech manufacturing industry or in the glass industry, uh, there's a host of ways that we can go about this and work on this. Um, certainly down in my district, the FAA and the work that they can do in air traffic control, uh, the work that we can do in drones, there's a lot of drone technology out there that's going to change our world. So those are just a few of the ways. But it is tantamount. It's important that we must do that. Um, some folks don't realize that the first, I mean, sorry, the second congressional district uh, that my counties um, all together with my 92 towns has the highest unemployment rate and the lowest per capita income of anywhere in the state of New Jersey. So as we make these changes, we've really got to fight to make sure that they come all the way down to South Jersey. So I think there's an intelligent way of doing that without hurting businesses. And I think part of it is there are going to be certain exemptions for those that are below age. There may be in the farming industry um, some of what occurs in the area of, um, you know, along the shoreline and, and, and some of the work that's done there with young people working in a lot of the different facilities that are there. But I think if we do this gradually, it can't go from where it is now to 15 instantly in my mind, but we do it gradually and we work with our business people in a way that they can tolerate it because we don't want to lose jobs. We've seen some areas where actually it was really instituted very rapidly and when it was instituted there was actually a loss of jobs. That's not good either so we have to do it carefully. Well, I think we really have to work with pharmaceutical companies and we have to make them more competitive. We've got to squeeze them. We've got to squeeze these pharmaceutical companies. We've got to squeeze, um, you know, health insurance companies. And we have to look at ways to, you know, alter what we're doing and make health insurance more competitive, to make pharmaceuticals more competitive. That's of primary importance. It's also important. We have a responsibility as Americans, as human beings, to make sure that pre existing conditions are covered. They must be covered. It's extremely important. And we must also make sure that people eventually we get to the point that um, health care is something that people can achieve. It's America. Nobody should die because they don't have health care. Nobody should go bankrupt because they don't have health care. We can do better than this.
So there's a number of ways of doing that. One of the ways of doing it is working with our county colleges so that there's a direct continuum um, among what happens at the technical schools and high schools, our county colleges, and our four-year schools. I believe in the future you're going to see more and more. You see it already, but you're going to see more and more um, young people and people of all ages going to the county college to get the four-year degree because it's less expensive. Secondly, um, I would personally like at some point a task for Force just to um, really study, and I don't love studies all the time, but I don't understand why, especially in the public sector and in certain areas. I understand Princeton is going to be expensive and certain schools are going to be expensive, but why is it getting so expensive for a public education? I went to Rutgers University and I was absolutely, through some of the grants I got and through some of the help and loans I got, I was able to afford it, and dental school as well. I had some loans, but they weren't horrific. So we've got to look why. What, what has happened? in the last recent time that this has occurred. And, and I'd like to see that change. It's too much for our young people to bear.